Honda was a latecomer to the pickup world, taking until 2006 to build the first generation Ridgeline. When it finally debuted, many questioned whether it was really a truck at all, given its oddball sail panel profile, unibody construction, and limited capability relative to the well established, traditional trucks already on the market. It was clear Honda had different ideas about what a mid sized truck should be. And despite the criticism it took for its supposed shortcomings, the Ridge found the following, the first Ridge line sold 250,000 units, 175,000 of which are still with their original owners. The new 2017 Honda Ridge line takes Honda's reinvention of the pickup to the next level, even as the new model adopts a more conventional exterior look. As was the case with the first model. It's tempting to measure and rate the new Honda Ridgeline in the context of its competition. But that's wrong for several reasons, first and foremost being that it doesn't have any competitors. There are alternatives, to be sure, but the 2017 Ridgeline isn't a truck in the traditional sense of the word, and although it'll do a lot of truck-like things and do them very well, the Ridgeline isn't a truck. It's the untruck. Even Honda falls into this comparison trap. Bragging about the Ridgeline's list of segment leading features, its 1584 pound payload capacity, 50 inch width between wheel wells, long list of standard and available safety options, and triple sealed cabin quietness. Against its supposed competitors, the Ridgeline chalks many spec sheet victories. But missing from that quantitative analysis is the human aspect of the new Ridgeline's overall driving experience. Because of its four-wheel independent suspension, core-like interior, soft yet supportive seats, and torque vectoring rear wheels on all-wheel drive models, the Ridgeline drives more like a well-balanced, comfort-minded sedan. On the highway, its quietness, comfort, and visibility make it a great road trip or long commute vehicle. Getting technical when it comes to trucks, specs matter. With untrucks like the Ridgeline, Specs matter even more because they need to do what trucks do while taking a different route to the final result. So the basics, all 2017 Honda Ridge lines come with a single engine, the 3.5 liter V6 found in numerous Honda products. Here, it's rated at 280 horsepower and 262 lbft of torque. Peak power hits at 6000 revolutions per minute. Peak torque arrives at 4,700 revolutions per minute, though it's higher than 200 lbft across essentially the entire engine speed range. Combined with the standard 6-speed automatic transmission with multi-disc clock-up clutch torque converter, the Ridgeline's engine delivers very good acceleration, in back-to-back -back 0 to 50 miles per hour sprints with a Colorado of similar configuration, the 305 horsepower Chevy feels only a touch quicker. The Ridgeline is available in tow wheel and all wheel drive forms, but as before, it is front drive based, not rear drive like traditional trucks. In AWD form, the Ridgeline is primarily front drive, too, but can send up to 70% of torque rearward when needed to combat wheel spin or when engaged by the traction mode system, which includes snow, mud, and sand modes. Compared to the previous Ridgeline, the new model's torque vectoring AWD system is 46% faster in engaging the rear wheels and has 20% more torque capacity. The use of a wet clutch based torque vectoring rear end allows the Ridgeline to use power alone to vector the torque, rather than the brake based torque vectoring found on other mid sized trucks. This means the Ridgeline can add torque to the outside rear wheel in cornering to enhance rotation or to the inside rear wheel when changing lanes at freeway speeds to reduce yaw and enhance stability. The three modes beyond the normal setting also tweak the drive-by-wire throttle response, offering a second gear start and less throttle per degree of pedal movement in snow mode or more aggressive throttle tuning in sand mode. A mix of throttle response easy on takeoff more aggressive once you are going is pretuned for mud mode. All three non-normal modes bias more torque to the rear, and both mud and sand modes hold lower gears longer and allow more slip from both the traction control and the VSA stability control system. Whip down a rough dirt road and the Ridgeline can run with two of best of the current mid-sized truck segment, the Chevy Colorado GMC Canyon and Toyota Tacoma. 
I know, because I drove them back to back on a range of off-road courses Honda set up at Rio Cibolo Ranch near San Antonio, Texas. There, we got a good sense of Untruck's performance. Through a hairpin laden dirt course cut through grass and strewn with obstacles including a railroad tie, a river rock rough section, and a series of shallow whoop de doos the sand mode provides plenty leeway to slide the ridge line. Cornering proves fast without obtrusive traction or stability control intervention. Plowing through the same course in the Tacoma and Colorado produces ample understeer in 4WD mode, though both fare as well as the ridge line once reverting back to RWD mode. Their stick axles and greater unsprung weight cause a somewhat rougher ride, however. The off-road section is a meandering bit of tow track featuring a water crossing, undulating woods, a man-made steep ascent hill a series of alternating hillocks, a sand pit, and a wheel articulation test. It wasn't a challenge for the Colorado or Tacoma, nor was it for the Ridgeline. Would the Ridgeline fare as well as the Chevy or the Toyota at Moab or crossing the Rubicon? Almost certainly not. But it will go more places than 95% of the owners of any of the three trucks will ever dare. Getting cerebral how can a mid-size pickup be so car-like and comfy on pavement yet still capable enough for most people off-road and pack 5,000 pounds of towing with the AWD version as well as three-quarters of a ton of payload capacity? By taking a very different approach to development and design, an approach informed by research and statistics, rather than by tradition and the desire to on-up the other guy. The Ridgeline's unibody construction offers greater rigidity than the body-on-frame setups used by other mid-size trucks. This torsional stiffness allows for relatively lower spring rates and damping for control of body motion, making for a more comfortable ride when unloaded. The torque vectoring rear end aids trailer's owing stability. The sheet-molded composite SMC bed material is practically indestructible, shrugging off dents and scratches that would permanently damage metal beds. All of these choices are the result of market research to define the 95% use case of a mid-sized truck, which Honda then used to build the Ridgeline. In fact, Honda's research shows that recreational towing accounts for less than 3% of mid-sized truck use, and when owners do tow, nearly 70% tow either flatbed utility trailers or boat trailers weighing less than 2,500 pounds. Another 20 plus percent tow in the 2,5,000-5,000 pound range, typically enclosed utility trailers or camping trailers. This covers the vast majority of real world scenarios, meaning that whatever mid-sized truck fans may think, they're very unlikely to exceed the Ridgeline's ability in actually use. The Ridgeline comes standard with a hitch receiver and industry standard 7-pin plug, and it's also prior for a trailer brake controller. Even if the figures aren't as favorable as Honda's research indicates, my experience using the Ridgeline to tow a 3,600-pound trailer loaded with a four-seater side-by-side and a Honda Quad showed it to be fully up to the task in acceleration and deceleration as well as stability. The one caveat to the Ridgeline's towing ability is that where the conventional mid-sized trucks ride better once loaded, the Ridgeline rides worse. Bumps are felt more acutely at the rear end and the nose floats a bit more, both symptoms of being closer to max capacity than its stick slid alternatives. Honda has focused its efforts where they really matter. It has delivered a vehicle that will easily do everything potential owners will need a truck to do 5% of the time, without compromising comfort, handling, and quietness for the other 95% getting technological one area where the new Ridgeline unquestionably has the upper hand in the mid-sized truck market is safety. Honda anticipates 5 Astar NHTSA crash test ratings, as well as good performance in the a small overlap test and a top safety pick plus rating based on its in-house computer modeling and real-world crash testing. Even if it falls short on one or more of those marks, however, its suite of safety technologies dwarfs the offerings from GM and Toyota. Adaptive cruise control, landkeeping assist, road departure mitigation which aims to reduce the severity of an impact after the vehicle leaves the road, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic monitoring, and automatic high beam control are all available on the Ridgeline.
though you'll have to opt up to the pricier RTLE or Black Edition trims the top two tiers to get them all. Another new technology to the midsize segment is the in-bed audio system, which uses exeters to turn the entirety of the bed sides and front into weather and impact-proof speakers. This complements the in-bed trunk, which can accommodate up to an 82-quart cooler or serve as a cooler itself when filled with ice, thanks to a built-in drain plug, and the bed-mounted AC socket, which can supply up to 400 watts of power when the vehicle is parked and the engine is running enough to run a 60-inch television. Thanks to a trick latch hinge system, the tailgate opens normally toward the rear, but it also opens toward the side, great for access to the underbed trunk. Put these features together and you have a heck of a picnicking or tailgating setup, without having to do any cutting or wiring yourself. There's a downside to the bed-based tech, height. The tailgate and bed floor of the Ridgeline are noticeably higher than in the Colorado or Tacoma. About on par with a much high riding, heavy duty full size truck. This can make it tougher to get items up and into the bed, especially for shorter users. On the infotainment front, once you opt up to the RTLT trim, you get an 8 inch touchscreen display with navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Pandora, and USB input getting expensive if it seems like there's been a fair bit of if you opt up to a certain trim level talk thus far, it's because there has. And it's not like the base ridge line starts out cheap, at $30,375 for the 2WD ridge line RT. Our wheel drive adds $1,800 to every trim level up through the $36,830 $38,630 with AWD RTLT. The top spec RTLE and Black Edition Ridge lines are AW Donnie and priced at $42,270 and $43,770, respectively. Comparing these prices to a comparably equipped Chevy Colorado or Toyota Tacoma, the Ridge line is just about on target. About $500 more than the Tacoma and $400 less than the Colorado. But that's where the comparisons stop because both the Tacoma and Colorado offer a wide variety of cabin bed configurations, while the Ridgeline is four-door, short bed only. The Colorado and Tacoma can both be had for much less money in lower spec configurations, nearly $10,000 less in both cases. On top of the lack of cabin bed options, the Ridgeline comes with just one engine. Both Toyota and GM offer a choice of four- and six-cylinder gas engines and GM also offers a torquey four-cylinder diesel, too. Combined with the extra cabin bed configurations, there's still plenty of mid-size truck ground that the Ridgeline can't reach. Fortunately for Honda, the Ridgeline isn't aiming to poach buyers from the existing mid-size truck crowd. Instead, it's looking squarely at the crossover market, intending to grab buyers who want the comfort and core-like behavior of a crossover for their daily driving duties but the dirty workspace afforded by a pickup bed for the weekends, whether they're working on the yard or the house or playing at the lake or in the desert. Here we see Honda's strategy with the Ridgeline come full circle, it's not built like a traditional truck, it doesn't drive like a truck, its interior doesn't look or feel like a truck's, and it's not really aimed at truck people. Even though it has a bed and does everything a mid-sized truck should do and does it all quite well, it's not a truck. It's a crossover with a bed, both in theory and in practice, being built largely of upgraded pilot parts. It's an untruck. If you hold prejudices that dictate what a truck's nationality should be this one's built in Alabama, by the way, or how it should be made, or what it should look like, untruck yourself. Give the Ridgeline a look. You just might find it's as fun, capable, and practical as I did. 2017 Honda Ridgeline specifications on sale, July price, $30,375 base engine, 3.5 liters 24 valve SOC V6280 HP at 6000 revolutions per minute, 262 lbft at 4700 revolutions per minute transmission, 6 speed automatic layout, 4 door, 5 passenger, front engine for all truck EPA mileage. 18,192,526 City Wheel XWXH, 
8 in wheelbase, 125.2 in weight, 4, 24, 24, 431 pounds to auto 60 miles per hour, 6.5 seconds a state top speed, Nasho more. Thank you.